Hey, what's up everybody? So, in the last video, we went through setting up our Meraki MR36, uh, setting up the radius, building the radius client, as you can see here on my screen, and the network policy server. So, in the second video, what we're going to go ahead and do is set up the policy that we need in order to do EPTLS, otherwise known as Wi-Fi with certs. Because, you know, it's seamless, it's pretty, it's kind of the way we're going, right, with Cloud Native. So, all cool. So, we're going to go through and just walk through, actually, NPS and setting up the connection request policy, setting up the network policy. It's really not too bad. There's a lot of little things and little minutiae that you can take advantage of in EPTLS. Or not EPTLS, but NPS, if you really want to. But we're going to try to keep it really simple and just focus on doing EPTLS the right way. Okay, so away we go. So, theoretically, if you want, you can, you know, do this cool little wizard. It wasn't like a good wizard, right? So you can just, you get the drop down, eat it to it. But we're just gonna be really simple. I'm gonna go in to connection request policy, hit new, and this is pretty easy. And we're just gonna call this ETLS. You can actually, what's interesting here is if you actually want to point it at like, remote access server or remote desktop gateway or stuff like that. You can, but don't need to do any of that. So we're going to go EPTLS. Now when you look at the condition stuff, it's kind of cool. So there's a lot of different stuff you can actually do if you want to. So what we're going to actually do here for this piece is we're going to go ahead and we're going to select the, uh, what's it called? The NAS port type. It's kind of confusing, but that's cool. So you go NAS port type, you hit add. And so what, what you do here is you're going to select wireless 802.11 and wireless other. Hit OK. So the conditions really are whatever you want them to be. So you could, you know, tie down to really anything. You can even say, I only want them to be able to authenticate during certain times. But, you know, we don't need to do that. Like, we're, we're just kind of testing stuff out. And, you know, as you kind of evolve and decide how you want to do it, but not, not a big deal. So we have our condition. We're going to hit next. And you see here, authenticate requests on the server. Then there's, you know, accounting if you want to forward that. No big deal. We hit next. And then here is real a really important section here we're going to hit add and we're just going to do smart card and certificate or other certificate really simple leave everything unchecked here don't want any of that no thank you so you can see here you also have more stuff you can do we're not doing any of that hit next hit and finish so there we we set up our the connection request policy. Next, what we do is we're going to go and set up our network policy, which is kind of the thing that really makes everything flow. So I'm just, you know, you call it, again, you call it whatever you want to call it. So similar to before, you're going to hit add. And then you're going to go down to NAS port type. Hit add. We're going to select wireless and wireless again. Familiar, right? Then from here, we're going to hit next. Access granted. Next. Now we're going to EAP types, smart card or other certificate. Looks familiar, right? And we uncheck everything because less secure is bad. One cool thing to look at here is when you go into this, you'll be able to actually select what certificate you want to use. And this shows here, which is cool, which is a thing that people really miss a lot because it's not real obvious. But we're going to hit next from here. And now we go into our constraints. And we're not going to mess with any of these. But you can see here, you've got stuff for like idle timeout, session timeout, day type restrictions, NAS port type if you want. So you can kind of do stuff with that. And then you can see here, we're going to look at our configuration settings. 
we'll peek at these for a second, but we're not we're not changing anything. So like you can have like little like IP filters and like control what how you want to do your encryption. We're just gonna leave it all standard. And then from here you can see we're just looking at what we've got going on here, right? Eep. Da 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 da. No big deal. Hit finish. And we're gonna move this up all the way up. Let's make sure the other one is also moved up because we want those to be evaluated first. And just like that, it's just that simple. The only other thing that we're gonna have to do and we'll ch do when we get back is we'll upload the certs for Cloud PKI because it's kind of interesting. You just need this, you don't have to bind them or anything. They just have to be present on the MPS. So as long as the MPS can validate the chain on the client cert, that's really all it needs. And that's the kind of the key to it. And it's kind of the neat thing is for, by using Cloud PKI, you're really able to kind of help secure more because only if those, your root and intermediate have been uploaded, do you really get there. So when we get back, we're going to really start digging into, we're going to use Cloud PKI. We're going to upload those certs and we're going to start building that policy that we need to do our magic.